folks, I'm Laura from Tribes Chalks Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint and today I'm going to show you my latest project. Check out this gorgeous vintage pine larder cupboard. This is screaming out for a farmhouse chippy makeover and I'm going to use some products that I don't normally use. So join along to see what we do. First of all, I've removed the doors and the hinges. Look at all that amazing storage potential. Okay, so this is waxed pine and all of that wax needs to come off before we start painting, otherwise the paint won't adhere. So to begin with, I'm using my Barco carbide scraper to scrape off the top layer of wax. So as you can see, I'm working with the grain and dragging the scraper downwards. This removes the wax without causing any damage to the wood. As I said earlier, this is vintage pine and as you can see, it's really knotty. So I'm wanting to cover up those knots so that they don't bleed through the final paint finish. So I've got some Colron knotting solution and I'm just applying that with a brush to each knot. So now for my base coat, I'm going to mix up some French linen with some sea spray. I want to create quite a thick mixture as I want a really textured base coat. You can play around with the sea spray. For some projects I don't want to use much but for this one I'm using quite a lot and I'm just mixing it in and testing how thick it is and then I'm just going to add some more if it's not thick enough. So there's no particular recipe to follow, you've just got to judge it per project and depend on how thick you want it to be. So now that I've got that mixed up I've got to work with it quite quickly as I don't want it to dry out. I'm using a premium chip brush and I'm just really randomly applying this first coat all over. I don't want to have too much control of the brush so I'm just sort of holding it quite loosely and I'm applying it with a cross hatch effect. I want various depths to the paint, I don't want it to be uniform, I want it to look really authentic so I'm just really going over it really roughly just to get full coverage over the entire piece. Now here we have a product that I rarely use, although now I've used it here I think I'll be using it again more often. I've got a small artist brush and I'm just applying the crackle mixture randomly. I'm putting it on quite thickly as I do want large erratic cracks. So I'm just applying this onto the areas where I think there would be natural distressing, like over the corners and the edges, because um, I'm looking for something quite authentic and I want it to feel like it's had years of use and layers of paint and it's all just chipping away, giving us that real rustic farmhouse vibe. So time to choose my main colour. I'm going to go for drop cloth, which is a gorgeous off-white. When applying this over the crackle, you need to make sure that the crackle is completely dry and then apply it. I'm applying it again quite thickly here and you need to make sure that you only brush in one direction. Don't back brush as this will disrupt the crackle process. So I've just sped this up so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just applying it in all areas and like I say, I'm going over quite thickly because I'm only going to be using the one coat. And now I've just done a little time lapse here whilst I'm doing some other painting on the piece so that you can see as the paint dries, the crackle begins to appear. So again, you've got to wait for that all to completely dry. And then I'm coming in with some clear Bestang wax, which I am applying over the entire piece with a Lapetite natural bristle brush. And then once I've got one coat of that, I'm going to go on with some brown Bestang wax. I'm using my French tip just to apply this to the corners and the edges. I'm applying this quite thickly in all the areas that I want it to show. And then I'm going to come back with just a kitchen sponge, a scourer, and I'm going to rub off the excess. I've now fitted some new handles and she's ready to show off. What do you think to this transformation? I must say I love this one so much I've decided to keep it for my own house. Thank you. 
If you would like to see more of our work, then you can go and find us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. I look forward to seeing you there soon. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd love to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to get notified when we next post. Thanks for watching.